Alright. Oh man. I'm so tired. Um uh, hold on, I need to uh... Okay, there we go. Uh so yep, just another light season in uh Aether raids. Um been been going pretty well. Uh Lysithia has actually been pretty useful. She's pulled my ass out of the fire a few times. Um so that's pretty cool. Uh, next week, I'm actually kind of looking forward towards next week because um, I'm going to probably going to start running with, uh, what's his name? I might have a team with Bechter on it next week, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, I really want to try him, do try him out on Astra season. Uh, and there's not a whole lot we can do here. Next season is going to be pretty hard because uh, I don't have any of these units built. I'm just going to have to use Anna. Which is fine considering, um, what's her name? Considering Felicia tends to just like handle everything on her own anyway. That's why I only have one team during Astro. Oh, yeah, so this week, let's go take a look at how we're doing. Um, 224, it feels a bit low, and I, I remember, it, well, for me, for one, we've lost quite a bit of um, lift here, so I really need to get my ass in gear and. and and make my light team into like the the good flyer bone because now i'm losing that's that's way too much to be losing right now um so yeah i don't even know if i'll be able to make a tier 27 this week um yeah i mean look at, how, look at how far down that is that's that's way down here usually i don't go below this so that's something to be uh to be considered about there um what else yeah i don't know if i'll be able to make it to tier 27 Hopefully, but uh, we'll see. This is what I was talking about last time. Like, I can make it, you know, you can make it consistently to, consistently to tier 27. It's just a matter of, like, I don't know, like, how, not necessarily how much effort you put in, but it's like, you know, how careful are you being from, from you know, match to match and doing all that stuff. Like, I missed a few pots there. Um, I've been lazy with my defense team and all that kind of stuff. So if I don't make it to tier 27, it's usually just, like, factors that are my fault rather than um, factors that are, like, I didn't pull this unit that just came out or something like that. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's just get in there. Uh, so we have two hundred and thirty. Getting one pot will get. We're getting if I so during this match I get the pots. I'll be at two fifty. The next match after that will be another twenty, and then after that will be ten. So I won't have enough. So I just gotta get the pots for one of them, and we should be solid. Okay. Hmm. So this team looks kind of interesting. Um, not like too interesting because like it, this feels like a kind of the kind of thing I can just like sit there and uh, bait a unit out. But the fact that she's covering with him does make it a little interesting. And then on top of that, he's pretty tanky. Um. Yeah. Does he have? What does she have? Oh, that's actually not that good. What I, one of the one of the ones that I actually enjoy a lot on these, um, on calves, which I really want to, I need to go find one. I don't actually know who has it, but there's a wand, a staff that makes it so that and it, oh, actually, you know, it might just be one unit. It might be not, might not be inheritable because it does seem kind of strong. But there's a staff that like, if you you can hit them with it and then it prevents their uh, counterattacks uh, on the next, you know until the next turn and then so you know she can come here hit me and then just have everybody kind of pile in there um, this is one of those cases where having flyer formation would be really good but I do not so or not flyer formation having um no see disrupt oh this is a very nice uh, Camilla here kind of like the stat spread uh, but again I think problematically we're looking at the fact that you're taking eight damage on this um, of course the healing towers here, but what I'm what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of like barrel up the middle here and then just sniper Because she also doesn't have the what's it called? So I can just kill her right off the bat and then have everybody else do whatever they're gonna do like she's gonna attack me or he's gonna attack me and I I don't know. I'm decently sure I can survive this If foe initiates combat, so I'm just gonna let him engage on me. So these are basically kind of useless right here. I'm not entirely sure what uh, What's up with that? Uh, I'm not using magic And I can't make a follow-up attack if he has more defense than me, which I, I don't think he will. See, so yeah, this doesn't look too bad. This positioning here and, and like, 
I can move here, snipe this, and then snipe this, and then, you know, on the next turn, come up here and hit her. I can test out to see if I can kill her. I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill her. But yeah, this is, you know, this was probably a possibility I was thinking about running on Camilla. Um, but it's very similar. It's like you you reduce their attack speed by four, or you increase your attack and speed by four. It's like, uh, ultimately, if you want to be min maxi about it, this one's better because not only are you increasing your defense by four, you're also increasing your res by four by reducing their attack by four, right? You're basically increasing your both of your defensive stats by four. Um, and then, you know, you're getting four, you're, you're basically getting four speed. Whereas with attack speed, like you're not getting any extra tankiness. You're getting more damage, right? But like you're not getting tankiness and you're only getting two stats. You're only getting flat attack and you're only getting flat speed. Um, you know, you're not like scaling where it's like, like I said, attack, one of the, one of the cool things about attack reduction a lot of times is the way it kind of scales where it's like it boosts not only your defense, but it also boosts your res as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, probably one of the issues with this, with what's going on here is they put a lot of emphasis in guarding these, but they're not that big a deal because you're just going to lose because, I mean, I could probably just snipe her. Um, they don't have any dancers, so that's uh, another issue. So let's just get in there, let's see what uh, see what I can do, see if it's as easy as I, th easy as I think it is. Uh, do they have any visible buffs? I don't think so, right? No, no visible buffs. Let's see what do you have here. I don't know why he has this if no one's adjacent to him. Also, I'm not entirely sure what Camille is doing here on this thing. Mm hmm. I really need to switch her over. Like now that I have the, I went with the trait fruit on the attack. Now that I have the attack trait, uh, the attack boon. Um, I can kind of like forego the close foil a little bit. Granted, that's a lot of stats I'm losing. I'm losing five attack and then five defense. Um, but dragons are becoming a little bit more common uh, on defense these days. They're not like they're still not that big a deal. Uh, I, I, I've you know I've, I've usually like I said I've made tier twenty seven before and like you just find matchups and it's like okay well you just kind of gotta take them uh, tank them out and then you'll be fine. Um, but I think. You know, maybe now is a good time to take to take this off and run with the um, close foil or close uh, close counter. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, probably do that like next season or something. Um, I don't know who to who to bring here. I feel like I should bring her. Uh, Lancina is always good to. Um, it's always good to. It's go. It's always good to have. Because I think what's going to happen is, like, I'm going to put Boki here, I'm going to snipe her, and then they're going to take this out, and then people are like, she's going to come up here and then hit me. Um, and I could always use the, uh, and then he's going to come over here and hit me or something like that, right? So, that's something to consider. So I think I might just do that. I might just go with her. Um, the plus three to everything is, is pretty cool. The only problem I have, of course, is, like, I need to watch out for her not killing me, but she won't be in range, so we're, we should be good there. I do actually need to figure out how I'm going to kill. Oh, and there you go. So that, that's pretty good because then uh, she can actually kill her or I can just use her as well too. She's actually a pretty good nuker. Um, so yeah, let's just get in there. I'm going to try this. Again, we have like, uh, I think I have four escape ladders, three, three escape ladders. So we're not too hurting for them, but uh, yeah, never really want to waste them for no real reason. gonna kill her I cannot 41 so she yeah so she's got a decent amount of speed on me uh, what do I want to do here so she gives me plus six attacks so I think next turn I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna put her here and then next turn uh, we can start getting you to move over here to try to take that out I can smite her forward. Okay, well, I, I don't know what happened here, why she's now suddenly slower. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know what... Uh, I actually I had more speed before, didn't I? I had like the speed um, bonus. That's kind of weird. Uh, so let's just, I guess we'll just smite her forward. Um, and then she can do what she does. Uh... 
Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be attacked by the rest of these, which is fine. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, not much else. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so I got hit by her. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Was like that the her, their their units would be stupid enough to actually do that, uh, and it uh, turned out that way. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my question now. I don't really have much of a choice. I'm just gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to take her again. What can you do? Yes. What can you do? One, two, three. He can stand here and hit here, here, and here, but not here. So I guess if I can peel her off, that should be fine, right? That shouldn't be too big a deal. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna peel her off with uh, with her here, and then I should be ready to. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I need the plus three attack from the uh, what's it called. Uh, we'll put you there. We'll do that. Let's put you here. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Okay, so she healed him, which is fine. Um, and I got the double, which is, uh, uh, of course, always fine. Let's see what I'm looking at here. 31 and 31. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so this is excellent. Um, Uh, let's see, what I can do here is do this. Ugh. Come on, please don't be the trap. It is the trap. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. Um, 25 speed. She's not gonna double anybody here. I guess the question is, can any of- can they all take that? I think they can. I think they sh yeah, I think we should be good here. Uh the the thing the thing I was forgetting was that like um Let's do that and then push you back down. Cuz she's going to hit her. Yeah. Um and I, yeah, okay, so that's fine. I forgot like cuz I was like, "Oh, I can just like reposition her," but her and her did not have reposition, so that was kind of stupid on my part. Um, and then she's dead, and I guess I should put on animations, um, instead of forgetting, like always. Uh, so there we go, uh, Boki defeats another map, basically, more or less single-handedly. Um, I always find it interesting when people put staff units on their defense. Like, that well specifically that aren't Veronica. Veronica's the only one that I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see that because she's just so incredibly like just you know oppressive in terms of what she does. So I don't have to worry about pots anymore going forward. So that's pretty cool. But I always find cabs kind of interesting because they rarely do anything. Um, the healing isn't very impactful. If anything, like what happened there, it kind of messed them up. Um, so you know, for one, the healing isn't impactful. Uh, for two, I think. This might be a simple matter of putting her here, and then smiting her here, and then hitting him, and then having everybody else crash into me. Uh, yeah, that might be what I end up doing. Unless, let's see, do they have visible buffs? Okay, so someone's getting plus six speed. Uh, she's giving out buffs. Don't know what she does. Okay, that's whatever. Gap. And she's giving out buffs, and she's giving out buffs. Okay. So that's pretty cool, then I'll just bring a Versa. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, like it's it, it's weird to me that people are, are putting um, healers, that they would put healers, staff units that are not Veronica on defense. Um, I think even like at a plus one merge Veronica is better than like a plus ten some other healer because there's no healers that really do anything unless you give them because I mean healers are all the same right like if you pick a healer they're all gonna have like the same you know they're all just the same it what really matters on a healer is just the uh, the staff really like you just got to get a good staff um, and I think it's hard to find a staff better than um, Veronica's but also like again I was mentioning 
the staff that disables counterattacks looks pretty interesting to me, but you know, that staff that he had there was kind of weird. I don't know why. I didn't really see the point of it. Plus three. Um, that's all right. I, I thought maybe the like if they spent <laughs> if they spent money for the uh, the uh, the little butt plug or whatever to pull this unit, I, I would have figured they'd have a plus ten or something like that. Like mine is has mine has higher merges. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. 41 speed, so that's cool. Uh, she'll be dropped by 5 and 3, so she'll be dropped by 8. And then these are kind of here, so that's fine. Uh, again, it's always hurting me that I do not have the um, attack defense link on my Aversa, though I think I'm going to have it soon enough. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll have it soon enough. Okay, so I'm gonna. I need to put Boki here. She, she needs to be danced and then put a Versa here and then smite her forward here and then hit her. Hit him. Uh, fortunately, this will probably give me damage to kill him if I can't just kill him straight up, uh, which I probably can, but that's fine. Um, put you here and you here and not you, no, you here. Okay. A Versa, uh, a Versa uh, whatever her name is over here, Lysithia can just do whatever. Um, I always gotta like think about this like a jigsaw puzzle and you're like, what, who goes where, who goes why? 38 and 35 defense, that's not bad. Um, I like the stat spread. And then of course, if, like 48 speed is like a speedy unit is gonna be 50 um, around. But I got so many debuffs on them because of Aversa. And then on top of the fact that like if I do need that extra speed, it's, you know, I can just bring another Peony with me and I'm up to like 52. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's pop this. That should be fine, right? I think. Dark Shrine, what is this on the minus three? That's fine. We'll, we'll just pop it. Especially just because I think it actually it hits some. Um... Oh, this is actually kind of interesting too because now I, I forgot that like... Where's the... Oh, they don't have a Bright Shrine. It's kind of interesting. Mr. Blue Sky. Okay, so there's no real reason to rush this. Which means I'm probably going to rush it anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> But there's no real reason to rush this, so the reason I say that is, um, well, it's just very tanky, uh, is I should wait till this hurts them back here so that I have a higher chance of just countering them back on the one shot. This guy right here is going to be a huge nuisance. Uh, double effectiveness. Uh, this thing's annoying. How much speed does he have? 31 speed. Minus five. Oh, so he was getting he was getting those buffs. So that's pretty cool. So thirty one speed to my forty, uh, fifty one because of because of her buffs. Panic Manor is kind of out of the way, so that's that that's kind of a, a rip for them. See, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, and nobody here has Hardy Bearing, so um, he I mean he could have easily had Hardy Bearing. Like you're telling me you couldn't have just put it on him. Um, but yeah, I mean yeah, you know whatever. Let's pop this. I'm gonna pop this. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Can he hit me? Dance, swap, reposition, rally. So he's gonna rally her. And then what? He's gonna start moving around like an idiot. I kinda, I really wanted to take this out, but that's fine. It's only gonna heal 35, I do 40. This thing can always get kind of irritating to me, so I'm just gonna get rid of that now. Let's go see if I can kill him. I cannot. Why is that? Uh-oh, that's bad. Uh, so I guess at this point, right, now I'm hoping this is the trap because I need it to kill him. That's kind of irritating. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put you here. Let's dance you. It is not the trap. How how are you not dead? What does this mean? What am I? What's going on here? Am I like tripping balls right now? So he's getting the defense push. He's dropping my attack, so it's basically a 10-point swing in his favor. And then that's about it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't. Do I have any penalties on me? No, but my attack is above 50. So that's why he gets a plus five to defense. Uh-huh. And I actually die in this engagement, which is even crazier. What is going on here? It's just a plus one. Like I've 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 killed plus one Bramimons like like they were nothing. That's kind of weird. Of course. I have fifty seven attack. Plus seven, I'm at 60 something. And I'm doing like nine. Why am I doing nine? Okay, so these aren't doing any, so these are dropping me back down to, so I'm down to 54 because of this. And minus three, so I'm at 51 attack. But he's got like a 21 defense. Oh my gosh, like this is so irritating. Hmm. Actually, got the pots for some reason, which I just realized I, again. I was like, "Why?" Uh. What do you guys think? Should we, can we can we face tank a uh, um, Bramimond? I don't think so. So she doesn't do any damage to me. So this one is fake. Yeah, I knew that one was real. Uh, there's not much I can do at that point. Uh, I guess we'll just play it out. I mean, I might just have to escape ladder this. Because I don't think we're going to survive a Brammy. I don't think this hell is going to survive anything at all. She did zero damage, that's insane. Um, so she attacked first, which is kind of interesting because I figured the Brammy would have attacked first. Let's see what he does here. 29. Okay, so I guess I'll survive, which is pretty good. So 29. This one, he lost this one off of, well, I mean, if he loses, right? If he loses, he lost this one off of not having a, a, a low enough charge. Oh, no, he's gonna, no, yeah, uh, maybe. I'm gonna vantage him. So that was interesting. I don't think I can kill that um, Lance guy over there. 43. Oof. She's going to kill me. I didn't do anything. I forgot she has like 25% damage reduction or something like that. 16. I'm actually like insanely irritated right now. Like that was dumb. Could you imagine not being like strong enough to, to kill a Brammy? Like, what even is that? Is that even physically possible? Uh, and of course, Lysithia uh, is a horse nuker. I I'm just like, at this point, I'm just kind of going through and, and popping stuff <laughs> for no real reason whatsoever. I like her little tome effect. I love, I like the way the, the animation she has. I'll be asked to leave before we uh, end up sweeping them or killing them or something like that. Yeah, so that was weird. Um, it is what it is. I don't know why I couldn't kill that uh, Brammy. Okay, let's go check over here. Let's try this one. Look, he's got the same defense as the other one. This one looks kind of easy. I think I'm just supposed to, like, 
smite her up here and then hit him. Then hope he'll, hopefully he'll die. Um, this is another another healer that like maybe is useful, but like not entirely. The only thing irritating me here is the fact that uh, she is going to get uh, danced, so I'm going to get hit by her twice. She, you know that's kind of the suck, but it is what it is. I think I'm gonna put what's uh, Boki here and snipe her and then dance her and then move her forward and like snipe him, I guess. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, do they have any visible buffs? I doubt it. There's not enough flyers here to really justify. I guess that's, yeah, that's like a half a flyer ball, it's kind of weird. Okay, so she's getting plus five attack from that, but no one else is. I guess Aversa is really just going to be the way to go here. This person has Wings of Mercy. Yeah, drop her, dropping her by five by a whole ten or a whole eight is is pretty good. I think I'm, so. I'm just going to go with that. Um, ideally, I should probably go with her, given what happened last time, and the fact that I actually need to secure that kill, or else I'm going to die. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, alternatively, as always, the option of just sitting there and um, like Lancina baiting right here is still open. Uh, like, just put Lance, just put Boki here and Lancina bait them. It actually is sounding kind of appetizing. So, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna put him here. He's gonna come up here and fight with me. Uh, he's gonna hit me, charge my special. I'm gonna hit him back and heal and then hit him again, right? I should anyway. Um, he also doesn't have any visible buffs. Then she's probably, she might, what are you doing? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. So and then she might come over here and then try to fight with me and then just die on a one shot. Whereas like, let's see, these three, she'll move around cause I'll have to put Boki here and then what's her name here? She'll move like here and then maybe get danced and move like somewhere else, but probably just go for the only target here and then she's going to do whatever she's going to do. I don't know what she's going to do either. Yeah, let's try it out. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see how this does work out. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. This is probably a really bad idea, but I, again, I have like three escape ladders and last time I didn't use too many of them. Um, well, I end up not using too many of them a lot of the time, um, which is why I'm not too concerned about them right now. So I played, well I had, I had to watch a, a, a playthrough of SMT1, no, M Megami Tensei 1 and 2, and then I had to watch a playthrough of SMT1, SMT2, and then SMTIF, right? I had a list of the games I had to watch or play, hold on, like, because I'm going through that stuff. Yeah, there we go. So... SMT4, I don't know where SMT3 is. Yeah, where's SMT3? It should be on this list somewhere. Oh, I think Nocturne is SMT3. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so up to, uh, so MT, anyway, <laughs> getting distracted. MT1 and MT2, uh, Megami Tensei 1, Megami Tensei 2, SMT1, 2, and then IF. I had to watch less play of all of them because I'm not going to play those games because like I'm playing Persona 1, that's where I'm starting, right? So Persona 1, next is going to be Soul Hackers, then Persona 2. Like I'm going in, in chronological order of their release dates. Um, but anyways, it's, again, as always, I tend to ramble, but like long story short is like I, I watched all that stuff and like gosh damn, their music is like burned into my brain uh, to, to some degree. Because like sometimes when you're playing, you don't notice it, right? Like if you're playing Devil May Cry or something. See, I'm gonna put you here. Like you're playing Devil May Cry or something, you don't notice like the music is very good in Devil May Cry, so don't get me wrong. Um, but sometimes you don't notice it, right? You just like it's just there. Let's put you here, and then we'll. Uh, I don't know why she's. What did I do? Why I do? Why I did that? Um, but whatever. 
Um, but yeah, that music, when you're not playing, you're, you're focusing more on what's like literally just happening in front of you. And that music is kind of like, wow, that went as about as like horribly as it could have. So now Bramimon cannot attack. No one did anything worth anything. That was horrible. Uh, I feel sorry for this person's team. It's like a waste of money. Uh, let's see. Can I kill you? Barely, and I don't think it's worth it. I can kill you though. Pretty easily. Um, I am panicked for some reason. Right? Is that that's what that is? It's a panic. Uh, this thing is over here. Am I pan? No, I'm not panicked. I'm just debuffed by a lot here. Um. Okay, cool. It was fake. <laughs> I was like stressing out about that internally. Uh, okay. Maybe this way. Your orders. Okay, so what I'm what I'm thinking about doing here is putting Peony here and then dancing her and then swapping her down here and flipping her behind her like that, and then just having uh, her be here. That might be like an interesting way to go. But yeah, the point I was trying to make was like that music is kind of like burned into my skull a little more uh, than it otherwise would be. And the main point, what the, fuck? the main point of that is that uh, put you there, I guess. I really need to. I really want to get her out of the way because like I feel like she's gonna get hit by something or something. Um, but yeah. Uh, and this music is kind of reminding me of it for me. I don't know. It's probably just because it's like this music is trying to like call back a little bit to that older like um, SNES kind of era music because that's where obviously um, Fire Emblem started. Uh, but for some reason, it's just it, it, it's very heavily reminiscent. Oh, she's gonna die. Twenty. He's gonna hit me for thirty-eight. I'm gonna hit him for twenty-one. He's gonna hit me thirty-eight by two. That's not good. Okay. So I. I damn it. 21 damage, and of course, the uh, follow-up is going to kill me. Okay, so I'm kind of like wondering what how I could have done that better. Um, well, I guess, I mean, for one, I probably should have waited a turn. Because, right, he was like over here somewhere. So if I had waited one extra turn, instead of doing everything on turn one... I did it on turn, if I had done it on turn two, this same thing would have happened, and then turn three would have come around. Because this hap if this would have happened right now, because they got they got uh, towered, right? This had towered one turn earlier, he would have hit her, and then she would have one-shot him back on the retaliation. But because I didn't wait for that, uh, this happened, of course, so. Kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just kill him. I'm really hating, I'm really hating Bramimon these days. Um, he's getting on my nerves. Like, there hasn't been a more annoying weapon given to Kalilis since that weapon. Um, like, it's just, like, it's just so dumb. Like, hey, if they're over 50, you get everything. And then, if they're faster than 35, which means they're faster than... If they're going to double you, you can just double them for free. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just dumb. Uh, let's see. I do think it's interesting though because I do like the fact like no one uses Bramimon for anything other than just having him sit on defense which is good right because like such a unit like that is like oh we designed it specifically just to sit here on defense like to help people help people's defense wins out um, which I think is kind of interesting uh, I want to say Larry sorry that's a, that's a really dumb old joke um, but I want to say just kind of barrel up the middle and kill her and then everything else kind of falls into place presumably um, she's probably gonna die. She's probably gonna die. He is gonna be a decent annoyance, but he doesn't have wind, wind sweep, so he's probably gonna die. She's most definitely gonna die, and then. Oh, uh oh. What, what happened? How do I get out of here? Okay. I wonder what that looks like on the recording. I'll have to take a look at that later. 
Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, just not much more than to, than doing that. Uh, what, are, what are we looking at here? Uh, some physical buffs here. Uh, physical, uh, I mean, not physical. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, there's a bunch of um, visible buffs. There you go. Visible, not physical. Uh, but none for these guys. And there's not a whole lot of other reason not to. You know, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for a duo skill that increases people's uh, special charge. That's what I'm waiting for. Like, the way Dominance hits people and gives them the Dominance effect, puts it on them. I I'm waiting for, like, a, a pulse smoke thing where it just kind of, like, goes and pulse smokes like this... Like an area of guys, like it didn't have to be like a, a three row thing the same way um, Makaya's thing is. It could just be like a, you know, anything. It could be anything really. It could just be like a, a one row thing and it'd be good because then you could lock down Ophelia's and then just like not have to worry about them. Like, ah, oh, it'd be so good. Uh, let's go here. Okay, can anybody, if I pop this, can anybody hit me? You can stand here. He can't stand here, so he can. He, all he can hit is this still. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that was that. Um, that was kind of weird. Also, it always, it's always funny to me, like when you lose. Sometimes you lose to like. Yeah, I think that's that. Like you lose to people early in the season that aren't even running like bonus, not bonus heroes. Like well, from for one, yeah, not even running bonus heroes, but for two, aren't running like their Astra mythics or their 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 mythic units. It's like ah, uh, fifty one damage. So yeah, we just kill her. Wow, exactly lethal. Nice. Um, question is, do I want to dance her and then then proceed to do anything else? Uh, that would be kind of greedy, I think, but I th yes. But let's uh, yeah, why be, why be safe? <laughs> why be safe? Famous last words, eh? Um, so you're sniped. And then I get to heal half a HP point. Uh, so something hopefully she gets let's see what does he have reposition so okay so she's gonna get baited out and attack me um, the thing I was worried about is like he hitting this and then her dancing him and then coming over and hitting him or hitting her but that that's fine I don't think that's gonna happen hopefully anyway oh, let's let's just leave it let's see what happens all right Micaiah you know you want to come out here Okay, well, Yoon's first. Uh, Yoon gets dunked, absolutely, and totally. 89 damage, of course. And there we go. There's Makaya. Okay, so that was what I was afraid of, is, is he'd be like, Oh, I'm just gonna pop this thing right here, like a utter douchebag. Byleth hits me for the ruptured sky. I take eight plus that was like sixteen, I think. Twenty one. It's thirteen. I got thirteen. He got thirteen off that charge. It's not that good, honestly. I think I'm gonna take the aether pots too, just to rub salt in the wound there. Of course. The glimmer of light, certainly. Oh uh, yeah. Huh. Hits me for serious. This is awesome that she has so much HP. Because then you can do things like that. <laughs> I've been thinking about who to save up fruits for for the next um, like IV switch thing. I'm not entirely sure who to do it for because there's not really anyone I need to. 
The only like like I, I mentioned in my summoning video, the only time I think you should be using your trait fruits is on like GHB units or Tempest Trial units, um, because they don't have one. So if you need one, you just give it to them, and you know, um, yeah. But uh, let's see. So can I even make it to tier twenty seven this week? I am unfortunately I think too short. I, I make 165. Dude, there's no way I'm one point off. Wow, wait, hold on. 165. 165 on top of this gets me to two. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. I was thinking uh, ahead of myself. So, 165 on top gets me uh, 230, 234. Plus the 6 is 294, it's 299, so I am 100 points short, which, again, here you go. This is normally, right, I'm around, like, I'll drop, like, I don't know, maybe 50, maybe 100 at max, or 60 around around there. But, uh, unfortunately, this week was not very successful, so I uh, here we are. Uh, though, I'm not, I'm not saying that... Uh, not saying that I would have made it otherwise, you know, by all means. There's a whole lot of other factors that go into that. It's just... Uh, this my poor defense and then you know again there's like some there was some poor um offenses here and there as well so i'm not gonna like totally remove um blame from myself there so i think the the play here is to hit him i'm not gonna kill him obviously um and then dance her and then move her here and then hit him uh problem being this core in here is a huge pain like this is some serious this is some serious core in right here Um, the the play here might just be to try to end turn Bulky here with, uh, what's her name here? And then, you know, whatever from there. Yeah, that might be the play, honestly. Um, okay, so there's that, but the other play might be to um, come this way. And snipe her, and then have her fight into me, and then die. Yeah, she's probably gonna just die. And then these are just gonna be running around confused. Swap, and there's no rallies here, so she's just gonna like, she's probably gonna just easily be baited. Uh, yeah. So I don't even have to bring Micaiah for this. I can just like wait till this pops. I can come here and hit her. Uh, put what's her name here to dance her to hit this. And then air like flips her around and takes her away. This seems like a pretty good plan, I think. The only problem, right, is going to be uh, Bramimon might just like be able to one uh, go fight me over there and kill me. Uh, but that is what it is. Uh, so thirty, so I get ten extra points from this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, for those of you, uh, you know, it's really important to upgrade your your healing tower if you're gonna have it here. Um, because of this reason, like most everybody, like the bull tower is probably the most useful thing on, you know, in the entire uh, offense lineup. And if your healing tower doesn't counter it, you're basically losing because, I mean, like imagine if I had Kronia here, like pop her and then these people would get healed by 30, but they would still be down 10 and then Kronia can just like destroy them anyway. Um, so that's something to consider. So I guess the other question is, am I running a Versa or what's going on here? Uh, it's looking like maybe not a Versa. Or, yeah, maybe not a Versa, but, um, if not a Versa, then it's kind of, like, up in the air. Yeah, but I like, I like this. The only problem is, again, like, he might fight with me, which I don't think he will, because she's, she's probably just gonna come fight with me. Okay. So not a Versa. Do I want to bring you... Who do I need to outspeed? I do need to outspeed you. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to need... Well, actually, I don't need to outspeed her because I'm just going to one-shot her anyway. Okay. I feel like just going a Versa, I mean, honestly. Like, the minus two to everything is not bad. Um... Like, that's what's so good about Aversa, is like, you can bring her in when they have buffs, and you can bring her in when they don't have buffs, because, you know, the minus three is not nothing, right? It's not zero. 
Um, and like I, I used to have Makaya, and I haven't like put her back on my team again. Like she's just sitting there. Watch, we have her in the team here. Let's go back. Uh, so she's here. She's right there, but she doesn't have the right uh, blessing. So that's kind of the problem there. Uh, if she did, then yeah, of course you could just like um, hit everybody with a Makaya, and then I would rather take the minus six to their attack and speed than the minus three to everything. Uh, but even even at the minus three to everything, that's not bad, and there's really not a whole lot of other options anyway. Um, right? Like, I guess the only other option would be um, what's her name, Bridal Makaya. But I don't think I'm lacking too much kill potential. Uh, I just let I just let him run into me over and over again. And he'll die eventually. Uh, her, she'll die pretty pretty easily. She'll die. She'll die. Her, she's gonna be kind of annoying. But again, that's what I'm, that's what I have this for to just basically to help kill her. And then he, I don't so much need kill potential on him, even though I mean, obviously <laughs> I said that and and you know what happened last time. Um, but like I said, I don't really think I need kill potential on him. I just need to not die from him. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, the minus three to everything is fine. Let's just get in there and uh, let's see. Reverse everything. Yep, okay. Yeah, and then even... Uh, what's his name here? This guy. It's not that big a deal because I just have her and she'll probably just kill him. Dark Spikes T. Okay. Yeah, this feels like... It does very much feel like uh, SMT music. Gosh damn, dude. I hate... Persona 1 so much. That game is so boring. Uh, sorry to any uh, Persona 1 fans out there like... Damn, I just hate playing that game so much. Ooh, I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. Um... Let's hope that doesn't mess up like the entire master plan. Okay. Let's come up here. So what can we do here? Nothing, because she is uh, doing too, way too much damage. Ready. Okay. So, that's gonna pop, right? She's gonna move here, so she's where she needs to be. One, hit. I need to get her here and then put her there to dance her to snipe that, and then bring you over here and then flip you back this way. So everybody's where they need to be right now. Uh, right now, okay. And we are panicked. Oh, okay, that's fine, I guess. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll just pop this. What does this thing do? Is this the minus two to... Yeah, am I taking that? Yeah, I'm taking that. There's a lot of really stupid decisions going on right now, so hopefully nobody, uh... <laughs> nobody notices. Okay. So my, my tower hits. Okay, then she should be dead uh, off of this one engagement. Wow, that is insanely dumb. Does she have vantage? She doesn't have vantage. What's going on here? Do I not kill her on the? Do I not just hit her? I'm taking minus seven here because of the plus seven from her. Okay. I'm a little confused now. How do how does she not die? She's got twelve HP. Okay. I guess she survives because of the uh, negating fan fang. Hmm. 
that's kind of like the massive suck. Um, oof. So minus seven. Okay, let's just see what happens now. Perfect. Couldn't have uh, planned it better myself. Uh, so now here comes this girl. Get to vantage you. Okay. So probably our major threat is going to be him. So he, so we're out of range. So I can just hit her, right? How do I do this? You can't. And you can't either, so it has to be her. I can't believe I can't, like, hit somebody for 12 damage. So I'm, I'm supposed to be hitting her for 38. Let's see what the, why, what's going on here. Negating Fang. That drops me down to 22. That's almost half. Like, that's dumb. Uh, if I hit him, she's going to die. Um, so let's not. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, very cool. Um, now I get to let's, let's take a look and see if I can kill Brammy. See, like I can kill him. It's not even that big a deal. I'm not entirely sure what the hell is going on, where I couldn't kill him before. Really? Uh, this thing uh, is getting on my nerves. Let's make this quick. Uh, let's just kill you with her, because why not? Thirty-two damage. Oh, she can. She has desperation, right? Like. Don't waste my time. Gosh damn, mage. Uh. If unit's HP is less than hundred, okay. So she has to have less than hundred. Um. Anyway. Annoying. Um. Mage. What's it called? Let's see, where do I want to go here? So big and strong. Of course. Maybe. He's a mage raid boss is what he is. I don't know, I actually, I don't actually know why I have the heavy blade on her. It's not really that useful. Hit, hits me for 8, counter on the 35. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the new Corrin is a huge irritation. Um, I can only imagine what like a plus 10 one would look like, but it is what it is. So four. There we go. Um, pretty good. Uh, we didn't make tier 27 this week, but again, like I said, it was, it was mainly uh, my own fault. A few, uh, mis mis uh, a few missteps here and there. Down by 101. 299. We're, we're at least, uh, we're close to top K, uh, top 6K. Uh, we're like right on the edge, though. We're probably going to drop down a little bit, given um, some of the uh, other people who are going to, like, the day's not over yet, right? So, you, you know, as people climb up, you, you go down a little. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. Um, hopefully you guys could all, uh, as always, hopefully something can be learned from this. Um, interesting stuff regarding uh, Boki. Uh, this is the first season I actually used Boki with a attack boon. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how, I feel like there's no downsides. Obviously you lose some stats here and there, but, uh, I didn't lose anything that I think was worth, that was too, that was not too worth losing, right? I think it was, it was fine for the attack. It's just that it was odd that there's still certain things that like, normally I should be able to kill, but this time like I wasn't able to, so uh, I don't know what's up with that. Um... But yeah, like the the extra attack was was not bad. Um, you're okay. You're slightly okay losing because I, I you lose one point in res and like some other stuff. I think a little bit of health. We lose one point. In, I think it's speed too. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. You lose one point 
uh, regardless. And it's not really that big a deal because, like, for one, you're getting the plus seven from the peony, and then you're getting the um, what's it called? You're getting the plus five from the air. So you know, it's not that big a deal to lose that point there. Uh, and to have like a attack stat over 50 is actually pretty good, other than, you know, fighting Bramimond. But uh, yeah, that, that'll be it for today. Um, not going to make a, a, a defense report, uh, just because like I said, this is kind of like a... My defense, this defense is really bad, so it's not really worth looking at or learning, extrapolating anything from. It's like it loses because it's bad. <laughs> That's about it. Um... But yeah, other than that, I mean, I guess I just got a Guild War video coming out today later for uh, Epic 7. But uh, yeah, so good luck on your guys' 8th raids and uh, try not to get uh, scrubbed on.